Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install the worst client. Uh, please enjoy the video. Alrighty, crack my knuckles, let's do this. So, to install this, the first thing you gotta do is click latest worst updates. Although, this link is in the, in the description down below, which is worstclient.net slash download slash. Um, and the first thing guys we're just going to click is the latest worst updates after clicking this click the close if there's an ad and then click the latest one which would probably be this one here obviously because it's a 7.15.2 and this is 7.15.1 and it goes all the way down to wherever it goes down to it goes down far 1.1 so it goes down to like the beginning of minecraft so choose obviously the newest version then scroll down and go to the installation section. First thing you guys want to do is go to the fabric installer. I'll right click and click open new link. After opening the new link, you guys are going, going to want to download the installer, which is this one right here, windows slash dot exe, which is this down here, which should show this little logo right here. After doing that, left click this and it should pop up this little thing right here. Choose the Minecraft version you want and choose the loader you want also. Make sure your create profile is checked, but before you click install, go back here and go to the, uh, make sure, by the way, make sure you have Java also, so I forgot to tell you that. And make sure you go down to the, uh, uh, worst installation. So obviously to download this, you gotta download this right here. So come down here and click on this right here. And then on the bottom, click keep. And then make sure that this is the 7.15.2. And then this is the, and then this is also the, yeah, I okay, guess. So just, just, just click, just click the newest one, okay? It's that easy. Just click the newest one here. And down the, and just, and the, the Fabric API, just click the newest one, okay? And then click install. And then click okay. And you can close it out. Once you're doing that, you can, um, you can also click the Fabric API here, which should bring you here. Once you're the Fabric API, you just want to click the download button here. Uh, you don't have to open this one up at all. I don't believe. This is one that you can just leave in itself. Uh, after downloading at the bottom, click keep. After this is all set out, go to your downloads folder and bring out all three of these and plop them all on your desktop. Boom. Once doing that, do Windows R and type in percent app data percentile or do or click the windows key and then type in the same thing and i'll bring up the same folder once doing that click dot minecraft click mods if you don't have mods folder right click go to new go to folder and type in mods just like how i have here obviously no we're not going to keep that because we don't need it whatsoever i don't i don't need it once having that go into your mods folder then all you want to do is move your Rust client, which you should have done down here. Which, you, by the way, um, just take this and just pop. Take the installer. Wait, no. Yeah, take your take your Fabric API and Fabric installer. Grab both of these and just pop. Then close out that folder and load up Minecraft. Once loading up Minecraft, either at the bottom left, which pops up instantly as you guys can see, or go to installations, click on new installation, click latest release, then find fabric loader, or scroll down a little bit and find fabric loader. If you don't see that, then go back in the, go back in, on the later parts of the video and watch the video again. Once doing this, if there's an error screen that pops up, make sure you have Java installed, make sure you have all that stuff installed, and you should be all good. Let's, let's go to when it loads up. Alrighty guys, Minecraft just loaded up. To make sure you have it installed, at the bottom left you should see 1.15.5 slash fabric and then modded. Make sure you see the modded thing there. Once doing that, you can go to multiplayer or single player. If you're if you're new if you if you're new to this, go to single player and I'll show you guys um, basically what it can do and how to use it. Once 
coming up at the top left, you should see it's just a worst client. To also know if it's installed, click your escape button and you should see the worst options and normal options. Normal options is all your normal stuff, and then worst options is your keybinds and just everything that you can, that you can uh, add. To get to the mod menu, all you, all you have to do is type in, or not type in, but click the right shift button and you get brought to this menu. Everything here is, is, is you are able to use, so let's type in nuker. Just, just to prove it. Type in nuker. I'm going to speed nuker. So I find it fly back up. And just speed nuker just breaks everything. Now this might be a little bit laggy for my PC personally, but I have it on the largest settings. Maybe that's why. Now obviously this can't break through like bedrock or anything, but like not not in the game. This is nuker and you can see what, like, what blocks it's breaking. And then this is nuker that you can use in any server guaranteed, including Hypixel. It's where it breaks the blocks all around you. Another thing you can do is kaboom, which is kind of cool. So if, you come, if I come over here and I can go kaboom, it breaks a hole right there, which is quite cool. You can also see x-ray, so to use x-ray you click x. You can enable free cam, which is quite cool personally. I personally use free cam a bunch, my, myself. Free cam is also used to see like tunnels and stuff just like that, uh, if you go underground with it. Uh, if you do, if you grab yourself some water, you can also see that Jesus works, so you can go... I'm just walking on water. I'm not flying. That's flying. I'm not flying. It just goes quite fast. I can even walk, like, on the edges. Look. If you crouch, you go into the water. If you don't, then you'll just walk with it. It's kind of cool, personally. Another thing you can do is just go through here and criticals will give you um every time you'll get crit hit bow aim bot i love this actually watch this if i grab a bow and i look at the pig bing